Hi, I'm Deepa Joshi. In this video, we will see a simple implementation of a grid in Power Center. Let's first get introduced to the concept of grid. Grid is an alias assigned to a group of nodes and they can be of different operating systems. This setup helps you to automate the distribution of workflows and sessions across the nodes. Let's see how to create a grid. For simplicity, I have used two nodes named node underscore one and node underscore two. Two separate power center installations are running on these two nodes. These two nodes are added under a single domain called domain underscore grid. You can add a node to the existing domain while doing power center installation or using add domain node command after defining it. You can run workflows or sessions on grid provided you have these two options is in your license server grid for power center and session on grid for power center on whichever node power center services have started first will be the current master the other node can be a gateway or a worker node only if the node is defined as gateway it can become the master when current master node shuts down the log directory path should be pointing to a shared location which can be accessed by both the nodes. This path can be updated under the domain properties. Click on the domain, actions, new grid, name the grid, browse and assign the available nodes. I have created node underscore grid in a similar fashion. I have created a repository service on one of the nodes. Backup node option will be available only if you have HA license. Integration service can be created on the grid which we created which contains both the nodes. We need to give the details of the associated repository and the code pages of each node. Once the integration service is created on grid, we can see PM server processes running on both the nodes. A master service process runs on one node and worker service process on the remaining node. We can configure a workflow on grid just by assigning the integration service created on grid to it. The master service process runs the workflow and workflow tasks and it distributes the session, command task, event weight tasks to itself and other nodes. It also runs the load balancer. To configure a session on grid, go to the config object tab of the session and enable the session on grid option. The integration service distributes session threads to multiple DTM processes or nodes in the grid. The load balancer distributes session threads based on node availability, resource availability and partitioning configuration. Let's learn why HA is more useful than just a plain simple grid setup. If you have HA license, you can configure a task to be recovered and restart on a new road if the previous node becomes unavailable while processing the task. It can resume from the last checkpoint whereas in just grid setup it is not possible. You can see it under the session properties, recovery strategy and the value can be resumed from last checkpoint. Thus. With the HA option, you can ensure that the domain can continue running despite temporary network hardware or service failures. For further information, you can refer to the documents listed here. You can send and post your queries and feedback at the below address. 
थैंक यू